to the Illinois suburbs, the mystery surrounding the disappearance of Marine mother Chrissy Williams. Williams is on the verge of watching her only son graduate from boot camp when she vanishes behind the wheel of her Red Ford Escape. What happened to Marine mom, Chrissy Williams? We can't find her, her vehicle. We still continue to search on a daily basis. Police are investigating the disappearance of young mom Chrissy Williams, whose family is desperate for answers. I won't stop looking until I find you. The search for Chrissy continues. So what happened to Chrissy Williams? And there's word that she felt threatened before all of this. Let's go straight to Matt Zarell, Nancy Grace producer. Matt, give us sort of the lowdown of what happened with her. Yeah. Yeah, Rita, 39-year-old Chrissy Williams was last seen leaving a home in the area of Illinois, which her sister says is a friend's parents' house. Now, the big thing here, the big thing here, Rita, is just days, just days before she went missing, she had allegedly received threats, and apparently the family is saying that she even notified police about these threats, and police are said to be questioning this person. What do we know about the nature of the threats, Matt? Well, we know that the that Chrissy had allegedly sent a friend a Facebook message saying that if she went missing, that a certain person was to be blamed. This was just a couple days before Chrissy went missing. Certain person to be blamed. Let's go to Matt McLean, news director of News Talk 94.3. Matt, give us the last physical sighting of her. We know that she had some text messages with her mother, but then she was, what, with friends? That was the last time she was seen? Yeah, Rita, actually, uh, last seen on the night of December 2nd, leaving uh, a Rosa Claire, Illinois resident just after 9 p.m. local time, where uh, William's sister, Tammy, is saying that police are obviously continuing their search efforts, really kind of trying to find out what's going on there. But that is the last place that they actually saw her, that, that people actually saw her prior to her disappearance. There was also a scent that was picked up. I understand, Matt, a dog picked up a scent. Give us a sense on that. Yeah, Jackson, uh, the, her sister indicating that one of the dogs uh, that obviously has been searching around trying to find a scent apparently got a hit sometime over the weekend of Chrissy's scent along a portion of the Ohio River there in that county where Rosa Claire is located. Uh, they're saying that they're returning to that site uh, yesterday and on even today. I know that some uh, experts have been sent in from Louisville, Kentucky, realizing this is in Illinois. This has actually been a bi-state effort. Officials from both sides of the Ohio River have been assisting in this search trying to find what's going on. But as far as uh, where that scent has led, to be quite honest with you, we just got off the phone a short time ago with the Hardin County Sheriff's Office. They're not really giving us information, so we kind of have to rely upon uh, Chrissy's sister to give us that information because, quite honestly, the, the folks there, they're keeping things very close to their vest. And let's go to Tammy Jackson, sister of Chrissy Williams. Tammy, first of all, our prayers are with you. I can't imagine how difficult this must be. Was your sister very concerned? There was this threat that I keep hearing, as we were hearing from Matt Zarell. How concerned was she that something could happen to her? I believe she was um, pretty concerned. I mean, she had told her friend in the, the Facebook message that she had went to the police um, to report it 